honoring the patron saint of Guam. Half a day and good evening. I'm Tina Chow. And I'm Jeff Marsh. So for Newswatch, thousands of faithful Catholics flood Aganya to celebrate the Feast of the Immaculate Conception. The area surrounding Cathedral Basilica in Aganya was shut down as Catholic school students, village churches, and local leaders all came to pay homage to Santa Maria in Kamalin. The crowd gathered in front of the cathedral to pray the rosary. Afterwards, a short homily was read to the crowd. The archbishop then issued his blessing, and the procession began, going around the block before congregating back at the cathedral. The group then celebrated Mass in honor of Santa Maria in Kamalin. Reporter Chris Unpinko has been following the festivities all day and has more on this holy celebration. Guam's Catholics got off to an early start celebrating the Feast of the Immaculate Conception with an early morning mass that honored both Santa Maria Camelin and Guam's World War II survivors. Every December 8th, the island honors Santa Maria and Camelin. This year is the first to feature a survivor's mass. Back on December 8th, 1941, Guam's Catholics gathered in Aganya to celebrate the Holy Feast Day. The mass celebration was cut short as the island was being bombed by the Japanese. And he was in Santa Cruz uh, Church when this thing happened. When the Japanese started bombing, you know, and, uh, you know, I was running like hell, man, from, just believe it, from, from Sumai to Agana. After the mass, war survivors shared their stories at the survivor exhibit on the second floor of the cathedral. The audience listened intently to each survivor's tale. Though their stories were all unique, one thing they had in common was how their faith had helped them to survive. But we firm strong belief and devotion to our Blessed Mother. She survived that punishment and she carried on with her family obligation. The cathedral held masses throughout the day so that Catholics from all over the island can pay homage on this holy day of obligation. I'm standing here at the podium where the Archbishop will address all the faithful Catholics who have gathered here for the procession. On the ground directly in front of me is where the carosa carrying the statue of Our Lady of Camelin will be kept right before the beginning of the procession. The carosa has been in preparation since yesterday. Earlier this afternoon, the statue of the Blessed Virgin was taken down so that the Camareras could prepare her for the procession. The roadways surrounding the cathedral have been blocked off and people have already began filling the streets. Now, right before the start of the procession, we join with Guam's faithful as they gather here to pay homage to Santa Maria and Camelin. Keep me a local for Guam News Watch. I'm Chris Pinko. Quite a crowd. Thanks for that, Chris.